Hi everyone. How are you? I'm fine. Beaver Anarchy here responding to Coughlin 000 or whatever the maybe it's 616 whatever the numbers are now. Uh, I just wanted to put in my two cents about Draw Muhammad Day. Um, I plan, uh, if I remember, I plan on doing something along the lines of Got That Funk's Have You Seen This Man? Uh, incidentally, I did draw, draw Got That Funk on Draw Muhammad Day, <laughs> and I did do the Draw Muhammad Day last year, and I did a silly version. Um, but I would like the echo. I, I would like to echo the sentiments of those who are embracing Got That Funk style, as opposed to just saying, "Well, okay, let's just draw Muhammad." Uh, yeah, if you want to draw Mo Mohammed as a stereotypical Arab fucking a pig or something like that, you have the right to do it, and I endorse your right to do it, and if that's what you want to do, do it. Simple as that. Um, in fact, I, I really don't even disagree necessarily. Um, I just don't think it's going to accomplish much except to offend religious people. And frankly, that's not difficult to do at all. I can say, hi, how you doing? And offend some religious fuckwit who's looking for things to be offended by. Uh, my necklace is probably going to offend some, some religious person. My shirt probably offend, uh, hell, look, my Miskatonic, uni nah, wrong side, university. Little sweatshirt thing, is it? It probably offends somebody that's religious. If you exist, you're you're offending <laughs> some kind of fuck. Actually, yeah, my there are fucktards who are genuinely offended by my existence. <laughs> so, yeah, you're not doing much. I mean, you're having a good time. Fine, do what you, do what you want to do. Uh, but my whole shtick with Draw Muhammad Day is. Um, I rather like the approach where Got That Funk is saying, well, what precisely about this ma makes it offensive? Is it because it is Mohammed? You know, it, it, it doesn't, it's not anything that out and out is going to seem offensive to a lot of people, you know, i.e., you know, fucking a kid, uh, carrying a bomb, whatever. It's some, it's something that, would not offend 99.999% of the human population until somebody decides to label it Mohammed and say, this is Mohammed now. And I'm, you know, I rather liked the approaches that people took with Draw Mohammed Day that were silly. They were, you know, Mohammed at a disco or something like that. Um, but yeah, so if I do do something this year, um, I will definitely um, do something along the lines of Draw Mohammed or, or even Where's Mohammed along the lines of Where's Waldo or, you know, do some kind of shtick with stick figures or something that can't be the least bit offensive until you put Mohammed under it and some really thoughtless, mindless slug goes, ah! As the Holocaust denial laws, ugh, come on, man. Stupid speech is still speech. If you believe in free speech, then look, let let ne'er do wells and idiots and conspiracy theorists sit there and deny the fucking Holocaust. Forget that the camps are still there, but you know, hey. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of it's one of those things where um, I rather take the I rather. I, I would rather take the approach of just letting the crazy people just say a bunch of crazy stuff to let us know how, exactly how crazy they are instead of saying, oh, well you can't say this, that, or the other thing because it's really offensive. Well, so what? There's, thing, there's things people say that piss me right the fuck off, you know? But I live and... 
I have the same prerogative to say things that piss other people right the fuck off. <gasps> so, yeah. And really, I don't think censoring Holocaust deniers helps at all because what is their reaction going to be? Their reaction is going to be, oh, it's the Zionists. It, it's the Zionist conspiracy trying to silence us and we're the persecuted minority. Because that's the way these types of people think. These types of people. Um, conspiracy theorists and similar types who think that there are a certain group of people, say Jews, who are running the world, or, or people who just automatically think, well, if that person's a Muslim, they are automatically some sort of sleeper cell or something, as opposed to just somebody who has some beliefs that, in my opinion, are pretty stupid. It's uh, kind of like, there's one channel here that, it ha it's probably run by a moderate Muslim, um, I actually accepted the person's friend requ request and ha his background is the Blue Mosque and, ha and he has some videos up there say they're, they're preaching Islam but they're not preaching a really f messed up form of it they're just you know s preaching something that to me is silly but you know what they're leaving it on their channel bravo for you because there's not a well, there are a lot of religious people who can leave it on their channel, but the most outspoken ones don't. So yeah, so yeah, you want to draw Muhammad, draw Muhammad. You want to deny the Holocaust, deny the Holocaust. <coughs> can you imagine <laughs> deny the Holocaust day? Like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Okay, well, original videos down here. I rambled on too long because you know what they say about opinions, yeah? Every, they're like assholes. Everyone's got one. Most of them stink. Mine stinks. Alright, well, I'll see you later. Oh, yeah, no, they sell.